If you followed along with the other videos in this series, so far you've created a campaign and organized your ads and keywords into logical ad groups. There's a good chance your ads are already running, but there are a couple of things you'll want to make sure. First, have you entered a payment method? Your ads won't be eligible to run without it. Even if you have a promotion code, you'll also need to add a payment method to activate your campaign. To confirm that you've got a payment method in place, click the gear icon, Billing and Payments, then Payment Methods. To add one, click Add a Card, Add PayPal, or Add Check Bank Transfer. Next, you'll want to check the delivery and status of your campaign. The delivery column indicates whether the item is eligible to run. If your campaign is running, the delivery status will be eligible. If there's a different status, for example, campaign paused, you might need to correct the issue. Click on the ellipses next to the delivery status to get more information about the issue and tips for fixing it. To enable a paused campaign, select the checkbox next to it. Then click Edit, Enable. The status column simply indicates if an item is active or paused. To change the status, hover over the status icon, click the arrow, and select the status you want. And that's it! Congratulations! Your ads are eligible to run, your campaign is active, and you are now a pay-per-click advertiser. Remember though, pay-per-click is not set and forget. Campaigns require ongoing monitoring and fine-tuning to make sure they perform to your expectations. Also, it will probably take a week or so before you start seeing useful performance data. So while you give your campaigns time to build up some history and data, there are a few things you can do right away to begin optimizing. We'll look at these in the Optimizing Your Campaign video.